All right, still following that breaking news out of Florida this morning where we are learning only a few hours ago, two people killed, several wounded in a mass shooting at a club. Now the gunfire erupted around one this morning in Fort Myers at a club that was hosting a teen night. Both of the victims reportedly male. Some of the people at the event were as young as 13 years old. As many as 16 people were also wounded, some with critical injuries. One person of interest is now in custody after shots were fired at another location that's not too far from the scene. That's where a 17th person was also injured. So far, there's no motive in the shooting. We're continuing to follow uh, this developing story for you. In a few minutes, we'll have the very latest out of Fort Myers and throughout the morning here on Breakfast Television. Meantime, in East York, a young girl went for a walk this morning while parents were sleeping. Thank goodness she wandered into a 24 hour Sobeys where they called in 54 Division and just a few minutes ago, yep, she went running into the arms of dad who uh, brought her home between the ages of three to four years old. Child wandered into the Sobeys near Broadview and Pottery Road just about two hours ago. Staff quick to call in the cops. It wasn't long before the girl's father woke up and found, yes, yeah, she had gone for a walk. Did you imagine? It's uh, another reminder for you. Uh, just uh, you want to sort of take a look at uh, how easy it is for your child to mm -hmm. access the outdoors because this is by by no means unusual. It's been happening a lot lately, I find. It's warm. They yeah. want to go. Yeah, for sure. Uh, well, it's now less than two weeks before the Olympic Games begin in Rio, and Australian athletes are refusing to move into the Olympic Village because it's just not ready yet. Now, the village officially opened yesterday, and some members of the Australian team arrived but promptly left, saying the accommodations weren't safe or ready. Now, the problems include serious electrical, cleaning, plumbing troubles with water reportedly running down some of the walls. These... Those, those are the waterfall walls, what they don't yes, realize. It's that, an, it's that's a, a feature. It's, it's a, a water feature. feature, yes. The sprawling 31 building village cost one and a half billion dollars to build. It's expected to house about 18,000 athletes and officials as well. The Rio Olympics opening ceremony is on August 5th, so just around the corner. And the International Olympic Committee has decided not to impose that blanket ban on Russia's participation in the Games. Instead, individual sports governing bodies will decide if Russian competitors uh, are clean and should be allowed to take part. Track and field athletes from Russia already banned because of a doping scandal. Other Russian athletes will have to meet strict criteria laid down by the IOC. Any who have served a uh, doping ban will not be eligible to compete. Uh, on the Republican side of things, Donald Trump is now defending his longtime friend Roger Ailes, the ousted chief of Fox News, who is accused of sexually harassing at least two dozen women. Ailes swiftly left the network last week after former anchor Gretchen Carlson filed a sexual harassment lawsuit. Carlson's lawyer says 25 women have come forward alleging similar experiences that have spanned across five decades. Ailes was denied the allegate has denied the allegations rather. During NBC's Meet the Press, Trump defended his friend, calling him a good person. It's very sad because he's a very good person. I've always found him to be just a very, very good person. And by the way, a very, very talented person. Look what he's done. So I feel very badly. But a lot of people think he's going to run my campaign. Yeah. My <laughs> campaign's doing pretty well. A Trump declined to comment on reports that Ailes was advising his presidential campaign. Ailes' position will now be held by 85-year-old Rupert Murdoch, who is executive chairman of 21st Century Fox. Yeah, and one line that Trump said yesterday on Meet the Press is just drawing a whole bunch of criticism. He essentially said, well, all these women who are complaining, well, he helped their careers. And he, yeah, yeah, wow. he's running for president. There you go. Wow. <laughs> wow.